I said today, I must relocate. I said today, you must live here with favor. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever is diverting blessing when it is your turn, today the spell will break. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever is cooking trouble for you, anytime you are close to be lifted, today the yoke will scatter. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Any evil tide of rejection that has been hovering over your life, today by the blood, that seed will scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Your struggle come to a permanent end today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. Say to your neighbor, welcome, welcome. to a new realm of favor. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and please take your seat. Favor is in realms. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? <laughs> Today you enter another realm. Yeah. I don't know whether it's October or November. Bishop prayed one prayer. All of us who went together, all my family. He said, Welcome to our realm of blessings and favor. Do you know that that echo? did not leave me all through that day, even in the midnight. I was still hearing it. Welcome to our realm of favor and blessings. There is a stress-free zone. When you enter their realm, you have entered autopilot. You know what is autopilot? Something that has been programmed. It comes every time there is a need. The team will just show. Anytime there is a need, the team will just show. You will catch it today. I'm saying to someone, you will catch it today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Make that amen bigger. Amen. Still in our series of teaching, enough is enough. This morning we are looking at the wine of vision and we are going to take it in three different series. This first service will focus on as far as your eyes can see. Second service seeing the invisible doing the impossible and third service the eyes of vision praise God the happenings around your life your family your career your destiny is not limited to what you say but much more on what you see there are two forces that rules life what you say and what you see god is mindful of what you see Man's hopelessness is a product of what he sees about his situation. Your sorrow, the tears, the disappointment, the stagnation is a function of what you see. Before you feel sad, you see sad. You can't feel what you have not seen. Before you feel hopeless, you have seen hopeless. Before you see lack, you have feel lack. Someone said, the way my body they do me, I go soon get malaria. 
as you are saying it, the thing is already on the way. You say, I've been waiting for you to see it. See the way my body is mean, I'll be like, I'll get malaria. You must catch it because you have seen it. I remember I, I, I told you the other day we went to pray for a family in Kuala in the hospital. So my associate pastor now said, Sir, I perceive we are going to have an accident. I said, You will be the only one that will die. <laughs> yes, I said, You will be the only one that will die. I will reach, you will die. He said, I'm sorry. I said, shut up! Don't you know I am sent? He said, if you are tired, give me the steering. Quick, quick! He said, yes, I, I perceive that we will have a steering. I said, you will be the only one that will die. You will be the only one that will die. Many are looking, few are seen. It's not all the eyes that look that sees. Many are looking, few are seen. So what you see is crucial to how you live. You can't live better until you begin to see better. When we talk of sin, we talk of the inner picture you have painted in your mind. Because scripture says, as a man thinketh in his heart. <laughs> so, you are seeing now, you are, as, as far as you are here, you are seeing now. You are seeing now. can't live better than what you see. So no matter what you are seeing now, in your life, in your family, in your job, in your business, until the picture changes, nothing changes. You can't give your family a better life if you are not seeing a better life. You cannot. Jesus had 12 disciples. All of them we are seeing him differently. Thomas never believed him. Judas, his name was working against him. One person said, Thou at Christ. The son of the living God. He said, Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. What you see. He had to have hope, but all of them were seeing him differently. And how they saw determined also what they collected. It is very, very obvious. It's in the Bible. What they saw determined what they collected. Elijah had other 50 sons of the prophet. But only Elijah collected the oil. Because what they see is what they collected. They never heard of them titilai lai. One person collected what should have gone to other 50. One person collected it. God 
is mindful. Even as we are in this ministry, there are pastors that see Yediko as wicked. Yes, there are pastors that see him as wicked. If you see him as wicked, what you will collect is wicked. If you come for the oil, you will collect the oil. If you come for his wisdom, you will collect his wisdom. If you come for his dominion grace, you will collect it. What you see is what you collect. You can't collect what you have not seen. And funny enough, God is the one that does the transfer. There were 70 elders following Moses. How come Joshua sneaked from behind and collected the oil? So God is mindful what you see. He's concerned about what you see. Because his act in my life and in your life cannot be more than what you see. His hand of performance cannot be stronger beyond what you see. He said, Jeremiah, what seest thou? He said, I see the rod of an almond tree. He said, thou has well seen. He said, I will hasten my word to perform it. So, seeing triggers manifestation. It triggers divine performance. Even after God declared unto Abraham, in Genesis chapter 13, let's read it. Genesis 13 from verse 13 to 15, let's read it. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Verse 14 now. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was separated from him, lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art northward, southward, eastward, and westward. Verse 15 now. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever as far as your eyes can see. No situation is permitted to change for you until you see it change. It's not permitted though. Only what you see God changing. That's why we sing that song. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. See everything turning around for my good. You must see it first. What you don't see, God is not permitted to do. You must see it. God declared a promise, but it was not clicking. So he needed him to see. He still needed to correct his vision. Because until you see better, you can't live better. Only people that see better, they live better. Concerning Jesus, scripture says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. There are some things you, are, you must be little because of where you are going. There are some things you must underrate because of where you are going. If you don't belittle them, if you don't despise them, they will create a weight for you and hinder you from going forward. So if God can't change what you see, he can't change how you live. How, what you see is your responsibility. If God can't change what you see, he can't change how you live. I've heard people say this one. Nobody likes me. Because you are feeling unloved. So nobody will like you. Like yourself first. They say charity begins at home. Why are you looking for who will like you? Like yourself first. Feel good about the goodness of God. You have created the avenue. You can't feel good 
and not live good. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It doesn't matter who is angry with you or who hates you. There is their problem. Nobody then carry the poison. Now you carry the poison. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling excited. Because something good is happening in my future. So you must feel good. Every day you just stay and carry depression in your heart. You just be shrinking. Your body will be shrinking. Wrinkles will be covering your face. Feel good. A merry heart do a good like medicine. But a dry spirit. There is a level of excitement you need to see success. So you must be excited first. And the tonic of excitement is in you. It's not in anybody. Happiness, joy is generated by you. Not anybody. Everybody is carrying his own. So whatever you are feeling, you are feeling for yourself. You are not feeling for anybody. God can change what you see so he can change how you live. Even though he has the capacity. That is why vision is crucial. You must begin to paint a picture. The picture you can't paint the future you can't see because your future is tied to what you see what you see you can't future in a future you have not seen you cannot you can never future f e a t u r u e you cannot future in a future f u t you are -E. you cannot future in a future you have not seen your tomorrow will be better than your today yeah. you must see it it's not after saying amen now when you cross that gate this life eh? this life eh? APC is just making everything hard for everybody now only you your problem is not APC your problem is what seest thou? How far you see determine how far you go. How far you see determine how far you go. You can never go further than you have seen. You can never go further than you have seen. Hear this, so not everybody is permitted to go far with you, no matter how much you try. Not everybody is permitted to go far with you. The farther you see, the better you live. The farther you see, the better you live. The farther you see, the better it becomes. The part of the jaws is like a shining light. The shining brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. Life cannot be better than what you are seeing about it. What you see determines what you possess. What you become. What you achieve. What you see.
One thing that is making Papa different, he started exploring the realms of vision early. While others were struggling with power. They want to have power. Power. They don't know that vision itself is the power. Because God cannot give you oil bigger than the size of your vision. <laughs> he cannot give you grace bigger than the size of your vision. Your grace is directly proportional to your vision for life. Likewise, the strength of your faith become more elastic in direct relationship with your vision. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. What is that in hope for? What you have seen. If you have seen it, faith is saying, I can help you get there. So the act of God in our life is limited to what you see. The act of God in our life is limited to what you see. God cannot perform more than what you see. The prophet told the woman, go bring the pots, bring empty pots. A miracle is about to take place. Where the last pot was filled, that was where the miracle ended. So go gather pots, gather pots, bring pots, empty. When the last drop when the last pot was filled, everything finished. God cannot perform more than what you have seen. So, if you see big, he will do big. If you see small, he will do small. Let me say this now. It just came to my mind. If you are believing God for one room apartment, to build one room apartment. Your favor will not cross more than one room apartment. If you are believing God for two bedroom flats, you will not be favored more than two bedroom flats. If you are believing God for three bedroom flats, God will only open door favor for three bedroom flats. If you are believing God for duplex, God will open favor that will create duplex. If you are also believing God for estates, Estates. My own is estates. Is it waiting? Eh? Estates. I'm saying my own. I don't know your own. Do you know that your opportunities in life is tied to what you see? You can't have opportunity bigger than your vision. God will only create opportunities for you because you have seen bigger. So the size of your open door also is tied to what you see. It's tied to what you see. The reason why many have refused to see better because they have limited their seeing to their location. But hear me, the blessings of God for your life, they are beyond your present location. They are beyond your present location. Do you know that God can move somebody from any part of this world because of you to come and meet you in Lafayette? Of our battles in life is tied to what you see even before the battle started. So when I tell you that problem will not see your end, I have seen it. But you will see the end of that problem. You better say a good amen. You have defined the end of the problem 
even before the problem is uh, making gyration you have defined it I will end you you problem I will dry you up you announce it David announced his victory before Goliath even before the fight started Goliath your head must come down Goliath laughs. He said, "I be your mate. Where they bring catapult to come shoot me? I be your mate. Your head must come down." He laughed, but he didn't know. He has already seen his head coming down. No matter what is happening around you now. Start seeing the end of that thing. Scripture says, Surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Proverbs 23 18. There is an end. Before faith will establish victory for you. He's also watching. What is this man seeing? What is this man seeing? Favor in life is also tied to what you see. Open doors in life Breakthrough in families is also tied to what you see. Philemon and verse 14. Philemon. Are you looking for Philemon? Make sure you get it all. You are looking for the spelling. <laughs> this technical people may God deliver us <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> it's really well. Oh. This is more than well. Philemon is after Titus. P H I L E M O N. Just type it, Philemon. Verse 14. But without thy mind will I do nothing. Who is talking? Without your mind I will do nothing. That thy benefit should not be as it were of necessity but willingly. So you must willingly condition your mind to see better things. Without your mind. So, the act of God is only permitted in your life by reason of what goes on in your mind. There are two personalities that seeks to manifest in your life. God wants to establish his counsel and Satan also wants to fulfill his agenda. Whatever goes on in your mind determines who is acting. So what is going on in your mind now? God and Satan cannot be acting at the same time. One is either in charge and the other is out. 
is either God is in charge or Satan is in charge of your mind. It is your choice. What does it mean to see as we summarize this part? To see means to create a mental picture. What you imagine in your heart. Genesis 11 said, 11, 11 and verse 6, And the Lord said, Behold, these people is one, and they have all one language, and this they began to do. And now, nothing, say with me, nothing, will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Which they have imagined. So what you imagine, nobody can take it away from you. To see means to catch a mental picture, to create a mental picture. What you imagine in your heart. Nobody sees it the way you see it. You see the way you are blessed. The way you should be blessed. The way you will be favored. The way you will be lifted. You will see it. Just like I said before, what many are seeing as hopelessness, frustration, sorrowful, is a picture they've already painted in their hearts. I can't buy your sorrow. No. I can't carry your depression. It's poisonous. It is contagious. I can't like for you and I cannot hate for you. Likewise, you cannot be seeing obstacles at the end. You get a miracle. So, your impossibilities also is created by you. And your possibilities also is created by you. All by what you see. I like the way Pai Richard Jaffa said it. He said, it may be difficult but not impossible. Once you create the picture, going around it may look as if it is difficult, but not impossible. But not impossible. What you are seeing may be the facts, but facts don't last truth lasts. That's why what God wants to show you is not the fact, but the truth. Fact can change, but truth is eternal. It is a fact that Sarah has passed the age of bearing a child, but it is not the truth. The truth is, according to the time of life, I will return and say that thy wife shall conceive and bring forth a son. Did she conceive or not? Did she conceive or not? Now even in our present day, there are people that are almost closer to Sarah's age. This year, someone in Ghana delivered at 82. Yes, 82 years. At 82. It's not IVF, so that I won't go and say it's IVF. At 82. In Nigeria here, we have had a 62, 63, even 64. Eh? Uh-huh. 68. Yes, it is a fact. They have passed monopause. But monopause cannot pause God's cancer. It can never pause the stretching forth of his hand. Scripture says, the Lord of hosts has proposed, and who shall disannul? Who dare include any witch? Include any wizard? Include any evil man or woman that have vowed a vow? Mumu? When God says it, he backs it up. He will watch it. He said, my counsel shall stand, and I will 
do all of my good pleasure. So look forward for what his counsel says. Let your eyes be on what his counsel says. You may not look like it now, but you must get there. Say a better amen. Facts don't last. Truth is eternal. No one that scripture says concerning Abraham against all hope. Believes in hope and gave glory to God. What God says is too sure. So he increased the frequency of his rejoicing. Why? Because he will, he will definitely lay hold on that that has been declared. So your actual future is not determined by the facts or the conditions around you. But your actual future is determined by the scriptural pictures you see. You must paint a picture of what God has said. Whatever God is saying now, paint a picture. The picture you are painting is the reality. It's the reality of what you are going to see. In Mark chapter 8 and verse 24, Mark chapter 8 and verse 24, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Jesus knew this man, he never see well oh, that he need to like touch him the second time. He was seeing men as trees. <laughs> he said, I see men as trees. So he had to give him a second touch. Likewise in life, where others are seeing progress, breakthrough, others are seeing disappointment. I read one book, trying to remember the particular one. Do you know when you carry a thought that someone hates you, are you hear what I'm saying now? You are fermented hatred from that person. It is scriptural. The power of positive thinking. And that is one of the things that have kept many people on the floor. This person hates me. Thoughts emit signals. You have sent a signal. Hate me. Hate me. Hate me. Hate me. Hate me. Hate me. So, the more you are thinking it, the person will be increasing it. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Let me share this encounter before we move to the next phase. When I was desiring the grace upon Pastor Ojeme, something happened. That day, I was feeling very bad because I waited after two hours to see him in the office. Tell him to go! I don't want to see him! Oh boy. I took off. But something kept telling me, don't agree with that arrangement. Go back again. So I went again. He said, they should tell me that he's very busy. I left. In my mind, I was already painting a picture. He must like me. He must accept me. I kept on going. I kept on going. One day, say with me, one day. He said, I should go and wait for him in the house. I got to the house. He said, they should, we should take you to his bedroom. A bedroom. That was the day I had 
what I've never had before. He said, I've been testing your heart to know whether you will turn back. I knew in my heart that there is something I needed to collect. But there was an arrangement to make sure that I fail. But I made up my mind that I must collect it. The first thing I had from his mouth, he said, why well, I say you should come to the bedroom. I don't want anybody to come and say, say you want to see me now and distract me. He said, I want to teach you creative ministry. Stress-free ministry. Not suffer head ministry. That's not the topic now. And after that time, I knew that something has entered me. Why I'm making this reference? Because I have to paint the picture before the other picture will change. The picture you don't paint, you never see. Some people want to find favor from their master, but they are behaving like witchcraft. Now lie, you know, go walk. Eye service does not give it to you. I, the law, search the heart. And Joseph found favor. The favor you get is the one you created. You can't find favor that you have not created. The favor you get, you are, you are the one that will create it. If you must be favored, you must behave like one that should be favored. You must think like one that should be favored. Favor is not a right, it's a seed. It's a seed. Do you see yourself favored? You are the choice. You are the one that will make the choice. Because favor, we're entering the other part of the message now, is one of the most crucial force on earth and also in life. Favor determines the limits of any man's destiny. How far can you go without favor? How far can you be blessed without favor? Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor, full of blessings. The more the favor the more the blessings. Favor is higher than position. Favor is stronger than human connection. Favor can do for you what people cannot do for you. Favor is stronger than beauty. There are some people that claim that they are over fine, but yet they are not yet married. Over fine, they worry them. It's true now. Now let me talk. You see my physique. You see my shape. Now what's that they look for now? Now lie. <laughs> he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor. So your prayer point is favor, not a fine. Because if they claim say you find people will find past you still day. Now try talk. If you like grief, if you like no grief. You must grieve by force. Those days in university, in our department, we had one sister they call Gloria Kome. <laughs> She's the be most beautiful girl in the whole of faculty of science. From our year one, she goes for weekend with etiquette. Year one. Way back 1991. Oh. Etiquette. To the point that our HOD was trying to befriend her. And the boyfriend got her. 
be careful if not if i jam you in that calabar you are in trouble but guess what after you service when no show all the maradonas i finished playing ball with her no show the last time I heard about her, she said she has joined Mountain of Fire. <laughs> Show me you fine. Catch the man now. She needed to go to Mountain of Fire to cast out the demon of disfavor. I'm not making a mockery of Mountain of Fire because I, I'm a follower for um, Daniel Olukoya. She needed deliverance urgently because no brother was showing. They forget that what they call favor for marriage. <laughs> Sisters, draw your ear like this. If you are not married, draw your ear like this. Do what I said. Say, Lord, Lord favor, me. favor me. He will favor you. Yeah. Now, what is divine favor? It is the fragrance of acceptability, likability. Let us be accepted by his brethren. And let not his men be few. There are some people, they just accept them. They just like them. There are some people, the moment they enter, the, the perfume of disfavor, just, I don't want to see this person here. You should get out. You should get out. I don't want to see this person here. There's a demon of disfavor following that person. True or false? It's not that that person is bad, but there is a force following him. It is called disfavor. The reason why I say you should pray for favor, hear me. Some say that they will just enter a relationship. One month, two months, three months. Before you know what's happening, the same person that is calling you 25 times in a day, your phone needs a rest. Either WhatsApp the land or text the land or call the land. All of a sudden, you say he doesn't want to see me. What did happen? Who do you? That goes to letting you know there is a force at work. Divine favor sponsors likability and acceptability. When God favors you, <laughs> a, a perfume has been released upon you. That's why by this communion, you will carry divine perfume. Like I said before, earlier than this, there is a way each and every one of us is perceived in the realm of the spirit. That is what brings about likability. So man forces are sponsoring hatred. There are some people you hate, you enter trouble. Oh, you don't know? I should show it in the Bible. When you go, you read it. Psalm 89, read from verse 20 down. He said, I will plague them that hate him. There are some people, you hate them, God will just plague you, not winch. God himself will plague you. God is the one pleading you because you hated them. You, for nothing. You are just dying for nothing. Divine favor is like rose flower. The smell of a rose flower. Hovering all around you. There is an aroma of acceptance. An aroma of likability. Favor 
determines the limits of destiny. Favor determines where you enter. Favor determines who you meet. There are people you must meet for things to work well. Favor determines those people. If not for favor, how will someone break into the palace called Joseph? Scripture says, and the favor of God was with him. And the favor of God was, may the favor of God not leave you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. There are others that struggle in cities where others are breaking through. What is making them break through? Favor. They got not the land in possession by their arm. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy arm and the light of thy countenance. Because thou hadest a favor unto them. May God show you favor. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. What is favor? Favor is a divine magnetic force that attracts, that pulls relevant people and opportunities to your life. Opportunities, people. Right place, right people. I've always said it and I'm going to repeat it. There are people you must meet and there are people you must miss. If you don't miss the bad, you won't meet the good. So when God's favor is at work, Opportunities others are not seeing. It will be wondering. It will be. It will be. It will be as if um, you are out of this world. They will be wondering how come this person is getting this thing and we are not even aware. You cannot be aware. The person carrying a favor following him. There's a favor following the person. Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added unto the church such as could be saved. Do you know that a church needs to be favored in a city too? Yes. The reason why a church needs to be favored because there is a place people like to go to and there is a place people don't like to go. That place that they don't like to go does not mean that that place is bad. Was a prayer for us. That God will grant us utterance. That the word of Christ will be preached without hindrance. Which means we should be accepted. And when you are accepted, many things will work. My prayer for you, that as you partake of this communion, this is your banquet. Hear me and hear me well. You will not suffer disfavor again. Lastly, I want to say to you, favor is a spirit. Let me prove it to you in the Bible. Favor is a spirit. And that spirit is prophesied. When it is released upon you, it sticks. Because you believed it. Scripture says, believe the Lord thy God and that shall be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall thou what? Prosper. Genesis 27, studio very fast. Verse 27, so that can be, I could, I would just take it from there very fast. And he came near and kissed him and smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. Look at the next verse now. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of heaven. You have collected favor. Yeah. I say you have collected favor. Yeah. The dew of heaven is the rain of the spirit of favor. And of the fatness of the earth. And plenty corn and wine. Now, time will fail us to read it down. But when you go, read it. This same chapter, you will see that even after Esau cried and came back to the father, my father, bless me also. Even me also, bless me, my father. The same blessing that was released on Jacob 
was the same blessing that was poured on Esau. When you go read it, we may not have time because of the communion now. When you go read it. So favor is the determining factor for your future. If you must succeed and things work well, doors open for you, for your marriage, for your career, you need regular favor, constant favor. The more favor you become, the more progress you make. The more forward you go, the more helpers arise for you. Your helpers are far now because you have not connected to favor. I pray for someone here. If I am indeed sent to you, the favor that has been released upon me rests upon you. The same way Papa, Bishop, Pastor Jeremy, Bishop Aremu, swear favor upon my life, I swear favor upon your life. I terminate the yoke of suffering over you in the name of Jesus. As you partake of this communion, whatever look mysterious, making you disfavored, making you rejected, making men to turn their back on you, I decree by this communion that spell is destroyed. Every smell of hatred, smell of rejection, smell of reproach, that have been haunting you, haunting your papers, haunting your career by this communion that evil smell fade away. In one minute, lift up your voice, Lord, by this communion, perfume me with favor, perfume me with favor, perfume me with favor. Jesus Everywhere you go You are accepted Everywhere you enter Doors open As I partake of your flesh And drink of your blood Let my life My wife My children My family Living for church last year Enter into a new dimension of favor. Le Romanego Shakotale Abra. Ezute Klikatopre. Meria Katola Shikaterusha. Erande Kade Sutata Pela Bosha. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. That amen is too weak. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. You are here, you are not born again. Until Jesus steps in, you can't assess this favor. But you want to make it right with Jesus wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject sin. Come into my life. Be my Lord and be my savior in jesus name i pray you pray that prayer with me wherever you are god bless